all the seams shine in the night like the time in your arm. Like the time. Hey. Hey. Remember to get light clap? <laughs> Alright. Oh, this came out. Alright. Queen of Wands, baby. Hey. Take it in. Man, YouTube be on me when I play the music too long, so excuse my awkward ass arm trying to like reach over my mic. I try to shut it off at a certain time. All right, let's talk about allergies. Not to timestamp this because I want this to be able to be used <laughs> in 10 months, 10 years, 100 years from now. I don't even know what we're gonna have in 100 years. Um, now is not the time to have allergies. If anything, it makes you paranoid because you hear someone sneezing, hachoo, 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 and you're like, oh my God, <laughs> cooties. Anyway, so I have found it super beneficial in taking natural, uh, not necessarily supplements, foods, taking natural foods that have key qualities that I need to boost my immune system prior to allergy season really hitting. So I wish I would have made this maybe three months ago, but at least I'm making it now. So you guys still have time to use this for the summer. But I have one, two, three, four, five, six things that I've been using. Some I've been using since a little girl. Some I've been using in about a year. And a few things have been the last three months, but this has helped me tremendously every year my allergies are horrible. I have had hay fever last year where I, I probably sneezed, no joke. I'm going to be so fucking real. I sneezed at my job about 30 or 40 times. It, like, it was bad, back to back. I had snot coming out. Like, it was disgusting. I don't know what came over me, but I had, like, the shivers. Like, I was just sweaty. Like, I just kept sneezing, sneezing, sneezing. And I went to take the train home, and I kept sneezing. So I had to walk home from West 17th Street to East. I don't want to tell you guys where I live. <laughs> I almost caught myself. I had to walk home to the East Side, Upper East Side, from the Lower West Side. Because that's how bad I was sneezing. And I had to use the bathroom. So imagine sneezing and your bladder is like, you're trying to hold your bladder. Miserable. And knock on wood, that was the last time I had an allergy attack. And that's when I really started researching, like, what can I do? Because I don't take Tylenol. I don't take Benadryl. I do not take anything over the counter. It has to be an emergency, and then I'll take it. But if I have time, you know, this is my personal view. I don't use uh, Western medicine. So let's get into it because I didn't even explain anything. I'm already at three minutes. So first things first. Honey. Honey, honey, honey. So I swear by honey. One, you want your honey to be pure, raw, and organic. And you want it to be sourced from a humane farm because what they do at some farms they pluck the wings of the queen bee, the queen fucking bee. They pluck her motherfucking wings, right? I don't know if I can curse like this, but whatever. They pluck her wings so she can't fly, so she's stuck at the hive, and then they steal her honey. And that's fucked up. So absolutely not. I don't support that. So I like, um, so I like supporting humane farms. And in addition, this is actually made from killer bees. So it says, this South American honey is harvested by communities of beekeepers from Brazil. Fear the kill killer bee, prolific and hardly, oh God, pollinators, that word looked bigger than it was, <laughs> pollinators known for aggressively protecting their hives, but have no fear of the wonderful rich taste. I don't know, it's kind of weird how they said it's, anyway. Um, yeah, and it's gluten-free, and I've been using this in my tea and stuff, and I do believe that honey is a great way to prepare for allergy season because when it comes to allergy season, you know, the pollen, the dust, and the mold, that pollen is associated with the bees. So if you're taking in what's in your atmosphere in regards to, like, bees and honey, you're almost setting your body up for success because it's not foreign. Because when you do get allergy attack, it's your body fighting whatever just popped in there and said hello it's like yeah so i prefer honey that is locally sourced so i tell people that a great hack if you're on a vacation and you get hit with some allergies to find locally sourced 
honey from the bees in that area. And I would say about three days of taking it, your body will start to normalize and it won't be fighting it anymore. Next thing, garlic. So I'm not taking this now, but I want to just, I don't know if anyone, I hope everyone has seen garlic. But it's, it comes in a clo uh, clove like that, a bulb, my bad. And then it's single, then you peel it, and you would eat this whole thing. My grandma used to give me this in the morning. She'd peel it, she'd crush it with the spoon, and, and she'd just make me eat the whole thing. And it burned going down, but I'm not going to lie, this shit's good. Do not eat this on an empty stomach. Ho, ho, ho. Ho. Oh. It would be painful. Do not eat on an empty stomach. Eat it in the noontime after you've eaten for a little bit because this shit will burn. Okay? And I made a mess with my garlic. But that's okay. Next thing. My favorite. You know, guys, I always talk about this. Don't judge me because this, this is a little, uh, it's a little old. But ginger root. Ginger root is an anti-inflammatory. It is a root herb, so it adds... Um, it helps with the circulation of the blood around the body, and it helps with pain, like your pain receptors. So I always say this is like natural Tylenol. However, it needs to be used continuously, but I do also like this for phlegm. So if you have allergies where it's a lot of sneezing, a lot of phlegm in the sinus area or even in the chest area, so if you cough or sneeze and you hear like a rackling, that's phlegm in the chest. And if you hear that, you need to spit it out. It does not need to be swallowed. It needs to be spit out. Next thing. Ooh, dates. So I've been actually eating dates for about a year. Dates are very good to eat on an empty stomach. They kill parasites. Um, if you're traveling to, like, South America, I highly suggest, like, honestly, I don't know if you could bring on a plane. I don't know. But uh, raw dates are very, very good when it comes to parasites. And it does help with seasonal allergies. And it's actually very good for um, energy and sexual health. So before I go to the gym, I love popping maybe three of these in. And they taste very good. And it helps you with your bowel movements. So no more than six. And I think you, like, that's the limit. Because any more than that, you don't, you know, you don't want a lot of explosive stuff going on. And this actually fills you up. So when I'm cooking and I'm hungry and I don't want to spoil my appetite, dates. Woo! Next bad boy, which is almost done. Can you guys see that? It's echinacea and elderberry syrup. So I actually wrote this down because I don't remember the top of my head. So echinacea, yeah. Echinacea boosts something called phagocytosis. And I am really not the best at these words. But it boosts... Um, that in your bloodstream would help fight bacteria infections. <laughs> and then the elderberry syrup is in a moon booster. So elderberry you see all the time, especially when people have coughs. Um, you'll see like elderberry syrup, uh, syrup for coughs. It's also good to take for allergies. And this one, this particular one, I love it. It has honey, ginger root, um, anise, which is anise seed, and lemon. And I'll put in the link before. And I've been ordering this now for almost four months. And it comes in this big bottle, and it's so good, and it's almost done. So when I do travel next, what I'm going to do is get a, like, travel size container. And I'm going to put some of this bad boy in there. And, yeah, just in case I get some allergies. And last but not least, my favorite thing in the world, probably one of my most favorite things, would be Irish sea moss. But as you can see, this is wild crafted. I'm going to let you guys see how it looks on the inside. It has no taste. You know how people say, oh, it has no taste. No, no, no. This has no taste. It's so interesting. So sea moss actually is an algae. So it's not a plant or an animal. So it comes from the, um, it's like a mi uh, micro algae. Wild crafted means that it isn't homegrown and like a, in water, it is picked wild. So it's like wild caught salmon, 
wild crafted. Um, you want wild crafted for sure, and you want to know where it's grown. I like sourcing it from Jamaica, from the Caribbean. So I believe this woman, that's where she got it from. And um, Dr. Sabi, if you guys aren't familiar with him, he's like a he's a legend. He's a Panamanian um, health guru. Um, this conspiracy theorist that he was killed because he was dropping knowledge on how to overcome AIDS and HIV and all that stuff. But he is dope. Actually, let me bring this book that I have for him. And it breaks down all the benefits of curing diseases and stuff in the body. He has so many different books. He is a G. He actually has a special way to make this, and it's use, use alkaline water. So you want to make sure when you do buy your um, <clears throat> sea moss that you are getting it, like some pl the place is making it the correct way. So I'll put a link from the lady I've been buying to for the last few months. Um, sea moss contains 92 out of the 102 minerals that we need in the body. Right? So this is like the holy grail of nutrients. Forget, I'm not telling you to forget your multivitamins. Stop taking it. Don't listen to me. I am not a doctor. However, I do not take multivitamins anymore because this has everything in it. In addition, um, it helps with the thyroid. So your thyroid produces a lot of hormones. So that's why you have like an underactive thyroid or, or hypothyroidism. Having that imbalance of hormones messes up your metabolism. So I believe it's hi if it's hyperactive, you won't eat that much. You get very skinny, a hard time maintaining your body weight. And then underactive thyroid, I believe that you'd gain weight because you aren't metabolizing your food. And your food needs to be metabolized and turned into energy or else you'll just be like, mm. So that's why I also like Irish sea moss. It has taurine. Taurine is very hard to find in vegetarian, vegan diets. And it gives you that natural energy boost as well as helps burn fat. So Irish sea moss is... I, I believe it's very underrated. I think in the last 10 years, they're saying that it's it doubled in its search, in its Google search. Um, and I know that during COVID, it really, it really increased uh, the popularity. The popularity really increased because of its, um, how it's able to boost your immune system as well as phlegm in the body. And Dr. Sabi believes phlegm and mucus is the root of all diseases, which which is understandable. When you have phlegm and mucus in the body, things aren't allowed, things aren't moving out, things aren't moving the way it's supposed to be moving, you aren't detoxing, like everything is getting stuck there in that mucus. And once stuff is in the mucus, you really can't get it out other than you getting the mucus out. So if you wanna get to the root of problems, of health problems, they say that detoxing your body, uh, mucus and phlegm is very important. And I'm always like skeptical skeptic when I use things and sorry if I'm like I have I, I found out that I'm dyslexic that's why some words like I'll think of a word and it's coming oh and it's coming and then my mouth won't produce it and it's like eh, 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 eh. it's like a re like a mouth function in my head and I realized <laughs> that I'm dyslexic so it makes sense but mercury is also retrograde and I have a Gemini moon so you know that's mercury ruled mine so my mind's little like doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, so this Irish uh, sea moss, where did I leave off? Um, and this is a little fun fact. It actually was used in Ireland when they had the big Irish potato, um, uh, what was it, famine? And it was it 18, 1986, 1984, I believe. And they used this to substitute. And it's funny because it has a lot of nutrients and it's very, very good for the body. So that is about it. So I'm going to run through everything, starting from the first. We have honey. So try to get that locally sourced honey. So if you're from New York, honey from upstate New York. If you're from Virginia, honey from the Virginia bees. Try to find it in your area and raw, organic, and um, humanely sourced. Garlic. Eat it in the afternoon after you've already had a meal, not on an empty stomach. You can even do half. But it's very, very good for you. And I'll put it in the bottom. Why? It's also good antibacterial as well. Then we have ginger root. Cut this bad boy up. Put it in some tea. Dates. Super good for energy, seasonal allergies, sexual function. 
and uh, bowel movements. Elderberry and echinacea, immune system, antiviral, as well as, yeah, yeah, I said that already. And sea moss gel, immune system, taurine, thyroid, <laughs> nutrients, congestion, all that jazz. So, yeah, these are essentials for you. I highly, highly recommend it. I've been doing this, and knock on wood, it's a relief to be outside and not itching my eyes, my nose. I can make these videos and I'm not every few minutes like like doing that. It's so annoying. And people think like, what's wrong with her? Like, why does she keep going like that? Like, what does she do? And I'm like, no, 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 that's not my party. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> anyway, so that's about it. I'm going to close it off. Don't forget that you guys had a card, Queen of Wands. And I believe that was the card, but if it wasn't, then it's going to be a two-card read. But, yeah, catch you guys on the flip side. Peace up. Eight town down.